हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला आई एम डॉक्टर हर्षण राणे टीचिंग मी सब्जेक्ट कॉम्प्यूटर एडेड इंजीनियरिंग एंड टुडे सेशन इज ऑन द टॉपिक कंपेरिजन ऑफ वेरियस मेथड्स इन कंप्यूटर एडेड इंजीनियरिंग द टॉपिक कवर्ड इन दिस टुडे सेशन आर कंपेरिजन बिटवीन द फॉलोइंग मेथड्स फर्स्ट इज क्लासिकल मेथड एंड फाइनाइट एलिमेंट मेथड द सेकेंड इज कंटिन्यूम मेथड एंड फाइनाइट एलिमेंट मेथड द थर्ड इज फाइनाइट डिफरेंस मेथड एंड फाइनाइट एलिमेंट मेथड द फोर्थ इज फाइनाइट एलिमेंट मेथड एंड फाइनाइट वॉल्यूम मेथड एंड द फिफ्थ इज कंपेरिजन बिटवीन बाउंड्री एलिमेंट मेथड फाइनाइट एलिमेंट मेथड एंड फाइनाइट डिफरेंस मेथड These are the certain methods which are used for in C computer aided engineering to solve the physical nature of the problem to obtain the solution. The first one method is classical method versus finite element method. The basic introduction of classical method is these are the standard. Uh, this is the standard method. It is used to solve the problem or physical problem with the help of analytical solution. And the finite element method is the method which is based on elements discretization and obtaining the solution at each point. The comparison between these two method is shown in the screen. The point one, in case of classical method, exact equations are formed and exact solutions are obtained. but in case of finite element method exact equations are formed like classical method but the approximate solutions are obtained the point two in case of classical method the certain standard cases of the problems are solved while in case of finite element method all types of physical problems can be solved the next point is in classical method requires certain assumptions when the complexity in the problems are faced in case of finite element method there are no certain no any assumptions required and the problem is taken as it is as like physical problem and for the material properties should be isotropic required for classical method but in case of finite element method it is no need of isotropic properties of the materials if the materials are non isotropic then also we will get the approximate solution from the physical problem when point number 5 the classical method is difficult to handle the composite material problems while the finite element method easily handles the composite material problems with the help of uh, softwares the next point in case of classical method geometric non linearities like circular curve shapes and extra other fillets chambers cannot be handled by using the classical method in case of finite element method such type of geometric linear non linearities can be handled without any difficulty so friends this is about the comparison of classical method and finite element method now next is the continuum method and finite element method the continuum method it is a type of analytical method and used for the solution of problem of entire structure the point 1 the continuum method is a analytical method while the finite element method is a numerical method the next point the in case of continuum method complicated problems are difficult to solve while in case of finite element method any complicated problems can be solved easily next point in case of continuum method non linear problems cannot be solved 
well in case of finite element method non linear problem can be solved with a pro solutions next point is the non isotropy and non homogeneous material pro problems cannot be solved by using continuum method while in case of finite element method non isotropic and non homogeneous material problems can be solved easily next point is the continuum method gives the solution for the entire structure while the finite element method gives the solution to every node and every element next point is the continuum method is very complex to solve by the analytical way while the finite element method is easy to solve with the help of software packages so friends this is about the comparison of continuum method and finite element method now finite difference method the comparison between finite difference method and finite element method the point one there is the comparison between finite difference method and finite element method is shown on the screen the point one in case of finite difference method which gives a point wise approximate solution to the problem while in case of finite element method which gives element wise approximate solution for the problem next point is the finite difference method gives the solution only at nodes while the finite element method gives the solution at nodes as well as within the element by using shape functions next point is in case of finite difference method more number of nodes required to obtain the good nature good results while in case of finite element method lesser number of nodes will also give a good result as compared to finite difference method next point is the complex problem cannot be handled with the help of finite difference method while in finite element method complex problem can be handled easily the next point is the finite difference method makes a staircase approximation for boundary slopes means it gives the approximate solution step wise to boundary slopes now in case of finite element method it already considers the boundary shape as it is okay friends this is the difference between finite difference method and finite element method now difference between finite element method and finite volume method is shown on the screen point 1 finite element method it gives structural mechanics and it the finite element method is used to solve structural mechanics and flow as well as thermal problems while finite volume method is used only for flow and thermal problems the next point in case of finite element method equations are discretized over a number of points while in case of volume method the governing equations are solved over a control volume next point is the finite element method is more stable as compared to finite volume method while the finite volume method is less stable as compared to finite element method next point the finite element method requires more amount of memory while finite volume method requires less amount of memory next point is in finite element method discretizes the conservative form of equation while the finite volume method discretizes the integral form of equations okay friends these are the, the certain differences between finite element method and finite volume method next is the comparison of boundary element method finite element method and finite difference method is shown on the screen with the basis of theory advantages and disadvantages let us consider first the boundary element method 
the theory behind boundary element method means this method is based on approximation on equivalent governing integral using boundary segments or boundary elements there, there are certain advantages of this boundary element method included the discretization of the boundary required only for boundary element method this method is ideal for infinite problems also this method requires less computational time the, along with these advantages there are certain drawbacks and disadvantages for boundary element method most of the uh, the disadvantages are mostly there are non symmetrical matrices in case of boundary element method the, it requires complicated integral relations between the equations also it is difficult to treatment on non homogeneous and non linear problems in case of finite element method which is based on approximation on equivalent governing integral using finite elements there are certain advantages of this finite element method that is the first is the integration of simple function there is integration of the simple functions used in finite element method also it has symmetrical and sparse matrices the solution as well as all the equations in finite element method is in matrix form so it is easy for computerized system to obtain the output result in a minimum possible time still the drawbacks of this method finite element method are it requires domain meshes means the complete problem has to be meshed properly for obtaining the solution of the by using finite element method it is not suitable for infinite problems the if the infinite problems are faced this method is unsuitable for such problems also the computation process required is more time consuming in case of finite element method similarly the finite difference method is be, uh, has certain theory advantages and drawbacks the theory behind the finite difference method is the method is based on finite difference approximation on governing differential equations means this method involves differential equations as the finite element method involves integral equation the finite difference method involves differential equation the advantages of this method are this method is easy to implement and this method does not require maximum or no numerical integration disadvantages of finite difference method are it also requires domain meshes means entire structure has to be meshed properly therefore it is also unsuitable for infinite problems one of the drawback among these two method of this finite difference method is it requires very fine meshing due to the very fine meshing its computation process is required very time consuming a large time required for obtaining the solution from such type of the finite difference method okay friends this is about the methods used in computer aided engineering these methods included classical method continuum method finite element method boundary element method and finite difference method out of this process the finite element method as as generally used for every structural statics dynamics problems as well as in fluid flow and thermal problems today's session is over now thank you